Fireflies are this really sort of friendly gateway insect. But it turns out that they have this really dastardly side. And that's really exciting biology. Well, let's go find some. Professor Sarah Lauer is a passionate advocate for the firefly's treacherous ways. But to understand their deceit, first you need a crash course in firefly mating habits. The males are the ones up in the air, flashing as they scout for females. Each species communicates with its own specific code. One species might have a long flash, like this. Another species might have a faster flash, like this. It's like a Morse code that they use to identify and choose mates. The males are communicating with the females. They're the ones hunkered down in the grass, assessing the males flying above. When a female sees a pattern that she likes, she will reply to it with a flash of her own. The male, seeing the female flash, will flash again at her, and they'll go back and forth and back and forth until the male finds the female and their mate. Now, here's the crucial bit. Most fireflies only speak their own species' language, except for one con artist on the block. Meet the Faturis firefly, commonly known as the Femme Fatale, for reasons that will soon become clear. They can speak the language of the other fireflies. They will eavesdrop on the conversations of these mating uh, prey species and use those conversations to their own advantage. Immediately after a femme fatale has mated with her own species, she switches languages, signaling to males of other species, luring them in on the pretext of mating. But instead, she has them for dinner. Digesting their prey while they're still alive and sucking their juices out. <laughs> 